Yeah. Hawk have a belt, sweet silver bells, all seem to say, throw cares away. Christmas is here, bring a good chair, too young and old, meek in the bold. <laughs> Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. How you doing? Uh, I'm in a good mood. It's December 1st, yada, yada, yada. It's been a minute since I've been here. You know what? I probably need to share my screen. Yes, I do. What am I messing with today? I think I'm messing with Harmony Essentials. La, 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 la. Screen share. Let's see. Let's go there. So, playing around um, New Year's resolution. I've been putting this crap off for a decade or so. I need to get back into drawing. Um, so, I was playing with an idea. Um, I drew like a rough sketch of a funky little unicorn here. So, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Um... Matter of fact, let me do something real quick. Let's see. Turn off my screen. Where's my screen? Where's our speakers? Um, words, words, words. That's good. Okay. Um, words. Having a bowl. Turning off the screen share for a moment. I'll be back. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So, yeah, I'm going to be playing around with uh, Tim Boom's, Tim Boom Harmony's, um, both their pencils as well as their uh, paintbrush and work on some stuff if you'd like. I'm just writing a few people to see if they want to actually hang out with me. Okay, that's there. And now we'll go back to Chrome Hangouts and now I'll turn my screen share back on. There. Okay. Now oh, that's done. All right. So, um, yeah, I, I'm, I, it's words. <laughs> I tend to draw with a thicker brush than normal. I'm trying out little pencil stuff here, but um, I'm going to turn off this sketch I did and make another drawing. Click on the drawing layer, and I'll say, I don't know, Hangout. Because it's a Hangout. Words, words, words. Add and close. OK, so I've got my paintbrush. And I was checking out Frank Summers the other day. He had a really nice layout. I may have to steal it. It was kind of nice. Um, got a couple little options here. The brush is kind of large right now, much larger than I want it. Um, so I'm going to hold on my O key and I can click and drag out to make it larger or click and drag in to make it smaller. And this works for the pencil tool as well as the different shape tools. Uh, I think I also want a different color. Let's see. I could do that thing where people just kind of come in and just do your roughs in red, then in black. So maybe I'll do that. I don't know. Okay, nothing is painting, which means my tool properties are a little bit off. Let's see, what are we doing? Okay, that's better. Thank you. Um, so yeah, just kind of playing around with the idea of just drawing out something here. Let's see. I need to work on drawing my circles. When I was teaching uh, grade school, like I had a little continuing education class and whenever my students would really get out of hand, I'd make them do pages of circles. I mean, they had to draw them anyway, but 
I like using that as a punishment because it actually strengthened their drawing hand. And meanwhile, I need to actually start doing circles myself. Come on. That's better. Mm, yes, I like that one. Um, let's see. So I drew this sketch on a layer and locked it, and I'm just playing on a different layer right now. And not sure this is going to be a horse or a unicorn. Um, Business partner Chris says I have a thing about unicorns. Maybe. About a little bag under his eye. He's not so happy. He's just like, why is everyone bothering me? Yada, yada, yada. Anyway, um, so the thing is, why on earth would you? It's like I have a lot of people um, think Chris just got comfortable drawing in Harmony. He's normally drawing in, what's that other program? Illustrator. And I'm like, <sighs> Illustrator, dude, really? But yeah, it's actually kind of cool. It's not bad. This is actually coming out pretty nice. Not bad, not bad at all. Don't want to give you make your unicorn? Maybe, probably. I'm um, holding down. I'm going to turn on my... Whatchamacallit? Um, words. Mouse pose. I'm using a Mac. And for those of you who do tutorials on a Mac, Mouse pose is an awesome program. So I can actually see um, the keys, or you can actually see the keys I'm holding down. So I'm going to hold down Option, oh, option and Command. And that's Alt, Control, and PC. But I can rotate my canvas to draw out something with. So I think I do want to give you, make him a unicorn. Make him a unicorn. OK. And let's do some little ovals, blah, blah, blah. Get smaller and smaller. All right, and then we'll do Shift X to get back to normal. Um, I think the other unicorn, I actually gave him a really cool, funky-looking 70s um, goatee. It's kind of nice. So let's get it. Let's say it's going to be that. So let's go like Hall and Oates or some junk. All right. If you're on listening to this and you have no idea who Hall and Oates is, Oates is Oates. <laughs> Hall and Oates. That's what Google's for. That's what the Google's for. Okay. Speaking in my Bob Ross cadence. Yeah, if you don't know who that is, Google it. Words, words. I think that's probably Eric. This is actually not bad. Um, I think before, but the other dude, let's turn him off. The other dude, I actually did the Coming out there, so let's like this unicorn was on tour with Parliament back in the 70s, and it was awesome. You know, I should give him an earring for that. That's uh, yeah, right there. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Okay. I mean, all of unicorns actually have these really cool names, like, I don't know, like Moonbeam or something like that. Huh? I think if it's going to be a unicorn, they would be kind of, if it's a guy unicorn, it'd be like man pretty. Speaking of, I'm like, think about it. It's like, what do you call a Pegasus? I'm like, are all the Pegasus called Pegasus? A Pegasi? Pretty Pegasus, whatever. 
the autumn has the same name um i did a a thread like this once before and i had someone ask was i on cold medicine so let me clear that up no i am not on cold medicine this is just me winging it i have not drawn in forever i'm just forcing myself to get back into drawing um almost everything you've ever seen is usually drawn by my partner chris cartledge um and it's funny whenever i do draw something people go hey tony if you need me to draw something for you just you know just just let me know it's like hey tony your drawings suck you know what yeah yeah and and you really should stop drawing maybe you should just teach don't draw just just teach and i'm like okay i don't care man so anyway but actually this is coming this is, i'm liking this better than the other dude maybe i'm just gonna do wouldn't that be weird if i did like 365 days of unicorns or some junk 2017 presents tony teach unicorns <laughs> really is that where we're going my wife is playing in the peanut gallery Okay, so uh, yeah, I think I like this dude. He's uh, coming off pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's actually pretty tight. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and lock this layer, come over here. Lock, we'll make another layer. And we'll call this ink. Underscore, hang out. Um, yeah, you don't have, you don't get to do spaces and i just kind of got in the habit of i stop doing spaces everywhere so I do like an underscore uh when you're creating your colors or anything like that okay so let's get busy with some things here i typically always draw with the paintbrush um even on my cleanup if i'm using harmony premium um i can do a thick and thin with my pencil but um I'm not, I'm actually doing this in Harmony Essentials right now. So I'm going to go over here, turn that off. Um, let's grab black. And I'm probably gonna thicken up my brush a little bit. I am kind of that old school, what is it? Late 90s, early 90s, uh, thicker line. Let's see. That's not too bad. Let's bring that down a little bit. Okay, I like that. All right, so I'm using a Wacom stylus right now. Um, a friend of mine was asking yesterday, what should they get for a stylus? And I was like, well, in my opinion, this is probably going to be, I mean, there's things less controversial I could talk about, like, Republican versus Democrat or Mac versus PC. But in my opinion, um, I still think Wacom is pretty strong as far as their tablets. I mean, it's still too thick. Um, but there are some nice things that are out there. Um, I think it was Huey on that I was suggesting to them. If they're, going, if they're going to not go with Wacom as far as just a normal tablet, I'm not talking about the Cintiqs. But um, I think Huey on has some nice things. So let's see. Words, words, words. All right, not bad. Uh, there is a tool that I'm missing right now. I, I uh, When drawing with the pencil, you can actually make sure all of the lines meet up. That's kind of cool. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to, well, maybe I'll make that little stop, stop, stop. I'm going to zoom in. Thank you. God, that line is ugly. Okay, here's a fun thing. Let's see if I can remember this. Option shift S, is it? Yes. Um, option shift S, alt shift S on PC. Let's undo that. That line is nasty. Um, but basically, I just did a smooth, and I didn't even like the way that smoothed out. So let's redraw that. All right, let's tilt this for a second. Let's see if I can. Do you want it that way? Yeah. That's 
that's um, something I learned from former student. Um, it feels weird calling her a student because it was so long ago. Um, but my good friend Jennifer Barkley, I was watching her one day work and saw how quickly she was hitting Command Z. I was like, ah, that is so nice. Okay. So let's grab that line. Let's see if we can get away with tightening that up a bit. This is the one thing about digital work. You can tighten up some of your really nasty looking lines. Um, this is something that Chris and I disagree on a lot. I'll come up with a character design and my character has been like, I don't know, on a caffeine binge or something like that, but it's like sleeps on the sofa or something like that of his friend in the basement, you know, because they meant to throw out the sofa after the cat peed on it or some junk. So that's my drawing line. So I handed it to Chris, and it's all of a sudden moved into a penthouse and he's sleeping on a futon at his cousin's house or something weird like that. So it's a lot cleaner. And I'm like, no, dude, I wanted it rough. So anyway, enough about that. Okay, do I want to? Let's see, what's happening with your line? Not get too crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope, not like that last one. Yes, I like them separate. Uh, something I normally do is also use uh, very large spaces in my work, so. I like eyelashes. My daughter um, will always note if there's eyelashes on a character, that must mean they're female. It's kind of cool. Um, we're looking at this footage of these praying mantids being born. And there's uh, these beautiful orchid praying mantids. And she was like, they're girls. I was like, what? She says, yeah, because look at their eyelashes. I was like, uh, okay. So it's kind of cool. It's like, if they're older and eating their mates, that would be a girl mantid. Yes. Let's see. I don't know if you can actually just look it up online or not and just find the... I should almost start doing like a whole... Maybe I'll do that. Like <laughs> Do like a whole list. Of like, Here are the crazy videos Tony has mentioned in this one thing. It's like very stream of consciousness. This is actually coming out not bad. What your name is. There was a young girl in my elementary school class. Like there were a few of us that could actually draw. So this is back when I was still drawing. Um, but Erica Wolfer, I believe her name was. But she was very talented, could draw horses very well. And I remember that was the one thing I could not draw. I was like, okay, you have to show me how to draw horses because it's not something I've ever sat down and studied. Dude, seriously? Okay. This is Tony trying not to curse as he's drawing here. Now my space bar to get the hand to. Okay, let's try that ear one more time. This is the, well, I, I don't even want to call it a cheat because, well, the undo is kind of a cheat, but um, just kind of turning your paper. I'm not really altering or animating him, just drawing this at a different angle because it's easier. Because this monstrosity is kicking my butt. Let's say, get that line out of there. Let's see. Let's do Shift X. Ah, I'm trying to remember the other code. Um, someone's probably going to correct me in the comments and go, oh, by the way, if you want to get it back to normal, you would go here. And I cannot remember that right now, and I don't want to. You know what I haven't done? I don't think I've actually saved recently. I think I'm um, one of my online students. I'm actually using this document, um, one of their documents, to draw this in. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, there we go with that uh, nice big open space. It's one of the ways I love to draw. It reminds me of 
what's that? Um, comic strips and stuff like that. So not where where everything's not connected doesn't have to be connected. Okay. You know what, dude? Let it overlap. But I'm going to show you guys a trick of why you can do that in a second. <laughs> it's kind of like um, little seashells, kind of that kind of thing. Zoom it out, zoom it out. No, zoom out, damn it. Not bad, not bad. I think I want your mane to be a little bit longer. Let's see. And eh, let's taper it off there. Seriously, dude, that sucked. I'm that line. See, so yeah, I'm just using like a little bunch of little shortcut keys here. Like undoing here and there. Um, I'm still on my paintbrush, but I can hold down my command key and get the selection tool, which I have set to a lasso. Um, but yeah, that's not bad. Ah, there's a large lock of hair that's missing right there. La da 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 da. Oh, yeah, not bad. Okay, so what I want to do, see, this is my main problem. I hate drawing something sometimes because you have all the rough stuff under it, and it looks kind of cool. And then you turn off the rough stuff, and it's like, eh. Like, if you've ever seen the behind the scenes of Beauty and the Beast where, like, the Beast turns back into a dude, if you've seen the actual um, the pencil test of that, Oh my gosh, it is incredibly beautiful. And then there's the finished piece, which is very clean and refined. It's good too. But man, look up the pencil test. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so that's the original one. And there's your hangout. Sweet. That's actually not bad. I'm kind of liking that. That's kind of a that's a lot thinner of a line than I'm normally used to doing. That's kind of cool. Not bad at all, dude. Okay. So, about those lines. Okay. So, let's do something. Let's clean up the um. Let's clean up the horn because that's going to be kind of easy. I'm going to go up here to my select tool. Go to the cutter tool, not to be confused with the cutter effect. Okay, that's a totally different video. Totally different thing. I did something on that a while ago. I was wondering. Dude, why did y'all have like a cutter tool and a cutter effect? That's all weird because people can get confused. Okay, so tool properties, lasso, and I want to make sure we can use the mouse gesture cutter mode. What exactly does that mean? That means I can come here. This line, I don't need it, so I can just kind of go yoink, and it goes away. So it's like pulling that line if it overlaps. That's what we want. Yump. By that one. Stop it. Not that one. Stop. You go away. And you go away. Thank you. Um, but yeah, this is me cleaning up some of these. <sighs> really, dude. I'm gonna make me get in here all deep like. Let's go. Thank you. So um, does it matter which direction I'm actually doing this? Nope. I'm just kind of doing quick little gestures as it will kind of like a gesture drawing some it's a quick way to erase or pull out lines that i don't need okay not bad get that out of here thank you words words there you go okay did we try to get it one that one before no we didn't what about this one? Thank you. All right, not bad. I'll probably clean up the rest of those later. Oh, maybe that one. Stop it. That one. Thank you. Nope. Command Z. Undo. All right. Zoom, 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 zoom. 
All right, dude, you need some extra lines because that looks a little odd. Let's go back to our select tool. Let's get you out of there. And let's go back to our brush tool. Nope. Um, let's see, that line shouldn't be there. Actually, it should have been like that. Okay, something like that. Okay, and back to your cutter. Yeah. Now, the cool thing is, um, because it's overlapping lines, it doesn't have to be um, the same grouping or anything like that. So, seriously, dude, come here. It's like, Tony, why don't you use the eraser? Because this is actually quicker when it works. Thank you. All right. That still looks weird. Gonna have to bring in a unicorn expert here in a minute. All right, let's zoom in. Do something really annoying. Uh, words, words. Select. Grab this little guy, and I'm going to move that stroke up there. Yes, I am. I'm going to take that just a little bit. Not bad. Okay. Um, so you get to see that all of these are. I don't draw flattened, um, which is an option you can do. Um, so each one of these little lines that I keep drawing are individual. Let's see. Thank you. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Um. Oh yeah, the ears. Seriously, dude? It's like, you think this is probably doing this because I'm doing this live. It's like, Tony doesn't know what he's doing. Yes, he does. Go, go, go. Okay, that's it's a little bit weak there. Let's get you a little more cleaned up. I like the idea of an earring, but you, sir. A very, very poor earring. Yeah. Nasty line. That's what option shift S is for. Thank you. Okay, it kind of works. <clears throat> so usually we'll see we'll see how it works out. But usually, um, I'll send this to one of the other animators or illustrators that I work with, illustrator slash animator. Stop that. Let's smooth these out. And yeah, it's that whole thing of, I need my characters a lot of times. I like, I like that rough line look. Um, like, give me my character before rehab. Okay, let's get the hair up there. Option shift S. That being said, I am cleaning up some of my lines. Um, I, I got a challenge for you if, you. if anyone's actually watching this, leave in the comments, what are we gonna name this dude? And yes, he is a dude. Hmm. No Judgy Judgersons on the mustache and the goatee and the earring, but this is a dude unicorn. Oh, let's see if my friend Demarcus has a voice for him. Okay, um, so what I'm going to do now is oh, I was looking at these. Um, uh, what I did with the other guy I drew yesterday. I'm going to show you this trick. Nope, not him him. Um, what I was playing around with is I saw a lot of illustrations. I don't know what the style was called, but there it's like they're drawn out something in ink and then they come in behind it and do the, um, or actually they, I don't know, they 
I draw a watercolor or whatever under it. And I thought that was kind of a nice look. So what I want to do, um, I can do one of two things. I could come here and say, well, yeah, let's make, let's just automatically fill this in. Like if I was going to fill in the hair, I would do something like press the K key so I can see the outlines. And then I would go down to my paint bucket tool, go to stroke. And with stroke, I can come here. By the way, let me stop doing this. I'm actually trying to draw with my mouse. The late great master Lou Hertz would say, drawing with the mouse is like drawing with a brick. Okay, so let's get back to stylus. So I can draw these beautiful little lines to finish connecting things. So there's not these, uh, there's not large gaps. And it's, this is different than um, painting to close gaps because these gaps are huge. They're huge. Na, 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 na. So at some point, to quote, Austin Powers. I'd lost my mojo. It's evidently somewhere in my drawing. So I need to start drawing more. I need to start playing music more. Dude, that is a nasty line. Let's go. Can you do that? Thank you. Let's go there and there. Not bad. Um, there would also be something there. All right. And of course, you can still go in. This is. Um, you can go in and correct these lines because they're pretty much anchor points and curves, Bezier curves or Bezier curves, however you want to pronounce it. That's cool. Tomato, tomato. Let's call the whole thing Bob. So yeah, I'm going in here, filling in all these little holes. And in theory, what do we get from that? What do we get from that? Well, I'm gonna press K again so it doesn't look that nasty. So you see all those holes are still there. Okay. Um, let's get a decent color. Oh yeah, there's that color we were using yesterday. I think his mane should be purple. It's kind of awesome. So um, let's grab the paint bucket, click right there. And let's see if I end up looking like an idiot since it didn't fill in. Come on, come on. You're thinking about it, I see. Boom, there you are. Okay, so that's what that stroke does. And it's kind of neat. I like it, I like it a lot. But uh, yeah, I think I wanna do something a little bit different. I could do that. But I like the idea of kind of going outside of the lines. So I may do that as well, I don't know. Uh, la, 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 la. Let's paint the unicorn horn. Okay, so that's what we'll do. We'll do that for there. Let's go to the tool properties for our paintbrush. Um, there are a couple of extra ones that are in premium, but let me click this a little bit so I can get it. I'm going to paint behind, and that's this little selection here. So I can zoom in. So I've got my little gold here. Uh, let's make our paintbrush a little bit larger so we can be sloppy. Um, and this is me purposely going outside of the line, kind of having that loose feel, because I think it'd be kind of cool. Huh, maybe not that cool. Okay, let's zoom in. All right, well, let's stick a little closer, shall we? Let's not go crazy. Stay not filling it exactly. Yeah, that's better. Not bad, not bad at all. Um, words, words, words. So, dude, if his mane is like purple in some junk, wouldn't his mustache be that way? I think it would be. So, let's go up here to the palettes. Um, you should always name your palettes. I'm just doing news right now, but because I was just didn't know if this is gonna stick or not. Oh, where we are. There. 
Um, yeah, so that's not bad. Okay, uh, what do I want to do? Still doing paint behind so I can get away with. Let's do some shadow on his eye a little bit, even though we haven't drawn anything. Okay, and maybe under his nose, yeah. And... Under the bottom lip, just a little bit. And this is where I got in trouble, I think, yesterday. Going to take our time. Lighten up on our pressure to get a little thinner line. Dang it. Uh, let's go. All right. Um, and this is definitely where we can do that little thing of um, select the line. Just held on my command key. Let's do Option Shift S. To tighten it up a little bit. Okay, let's see. Option shift S. Thank you. But yeah, each one of these is an individual little stroke, so it's kind of cool. Not bad. Um, so now I'm going to go back to normal with my paintbrush. Paintbrush, paintbrush, paintbrush. Oh. You're all right over there? All right, so let's do the pupil. Going to do this in solid black for now. Yes. Um, you know what, dude? You should come here and do the inside of the earring because that's where the hair would still be. And I'm just using my scroll wheel. You know what, dude? I don't need all. Let's grab white for now. Dot. Nope. Smaller dot, damn it. Hold down my O key, get a smaller brush. Boom. Maybe a little bit larger. You can always add more. Okay. I kind of like this dude. Um, oh yeah, let me get that gray again. Get under his ear. Nope. And that's definitely a line we're going to tighten up. Zoom, 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 zoom. Not terribly bad. I think maybe, just maybe, I'm going to come over here. And draw a little bit of, you know what, no. Let's grab the unicorn color here. I'm going to come up here, add a second color. Just by clicking on the plus sign, double click. Um, yeah, there's not any, not a hexadecimal thing because Tim Boom has this beautiful social security number for every single color. So if we decide to update this later and say, no, dude, his mane is supposed to be more of a burgundy, not a violet. We can actually change that even if we have 5,000 frames of animation. It's kind of awesome. So let's do a DACA. Sup, home slice. Sup, home slice. I'm just going to even though we didn't call the other one the right thing. So we're just going to bring that down a little bit. So I can go like hue, saturation, or value. I'm going to do value because I want it to be a little darker. Looks good. And so we'll come over here. Where are the monsters? They're over there. Oh, uh, yeah, babe. Hey, Tony. You know what? This is the other thing of um, 
probably, probably, let's see. You know what? I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to select all the yellow, delete that. Oops, delete it again. And let's do this backwards. This would have probably been a better way of doing things, Tony. I know that's why we're doing it now, dude. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go back to my, I'm going to my, on my darker color here. And while we're at it, we'll call you horn underscore a one. Um, it comes in handy usually if you're working on something, especially if you have several characters. Each character should have their own palette because when you start borrowing things and then you don't update them, it gets really nasty. Okay, so what I would like to do is go back to paint behind and one get the darker color. Thank you. So I'm just drawing this here. Looks a little better. Always something there to remind me. Boom. All right, looking pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Now, I'm gonna grab the gold, the light color. Let's get that a little bit bigger. Uh, words. Whoever is ringing me, I cannot answer right now because I'm in the middle of drawing something. <laughs> this is like markers. I can almost smell them. Okay. This <clears throat> book. Okay, now I'm going to use white. Technically, no, I think I'm going to use another. Whatever color you have selected when you're working, if you have to add a new color, it's going to give you that color to start from. Born so, 03. And let's make this lighter. Do some little highlights and what hey let's see what I'm gonna do next time I'm going to not paint behind I'm going to paint what is painted which can be tricky since there's black lines here but we'll see so I'm gonna come here let's see make that a little bit smaller Get some lines on there. Okay. Now, here's the cool part. Um, doesn't look like it did much. So I'm like, yeah, this is going to be that thing of what I was talking about earlier. Um, so if I double click on this color, I can come here, start lightening that, seeing if it works. Matter of fact, I can make it crazy different colors. Let's see. Huh. Maybe it did need to be white. Um, I can even click this little eyedropper to get the starting color again. Thank you. Drag the color. Or drag the dropper to the desired color, like there. Not bad. Okay, so that's good. Um, let me add in a color card. So I'm going to click here to add a color card. Color card by default is white, which is not helping us right now. I need a different color to see what this is going to look like. Probably a gray, a nice gray. Gray? Gray, is that where we're going? Seriously, dude? Why are you not updating? What up with that? 
up quick. Hmm. Weird. Let's see. Let's get rid of that color card and try that again. Ah, that's why. Okay. So let's go to our color card. Select. Oh, there's already a color card. Yeah. That would be why. I was like, what's going on, dude? All right, I already got a color card here, and it is white. I'm going to update that color. Double click. Thank you. Oh, yeah, dude, we have not colored the actual unicorn yet. This is why you use, use those little color cards sometimes. Let's go to Ink Hangout. All right, so we'll press the letter K once more. Looks like we sealed off most of those guys. Um, and what I want to do now is grab my stroke and it's weird. Close. I'm going to do a nice little nope. Seriously, dude. Okay. It's a nice little wavy line there to close that off. Um, and I'm going to make, I don't want to be a cliche and make this unicorn light. So let's see, what do we want to do? Do something based on that though. Unicorn skin. Call this unicorn skin a one in case I decide to do something else. Real quick. Hmm. You should be kind of a. I don't know. Yeah. It's not a bad color. We'll see. Um, paint. Regular paint. Um, let's turn off K. Fill. Let's see what happens. See what happens. Hmm, that's not a bad color. All right, and again, we've got these large gaps here, but the gaps do not matter. <sighs> spinning, spinning, spinning. Come on. Is that to me or you? Hmm? Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Eric, dude, are you there? Yes. Can you not hear me? I can't hear you. <laughs> you. Uh, been here for a while? Yes, I've been ah, here for a while. I'm going to jump back over here. Dude, Eric, if you can hear me, you know, like um, if 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 it's not your speakers, well, if it's not your mic, because it might be mine. I'm always doing crazy with my sound system. Yeah, I've been here for like ten minutes. La 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 la. la. Hmm. Oh dear, that's what we need to do. Okay, so remember, like we did all the gray and stuff like that. Gray was cool when dude was like, you know, I don't know different in some junk. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the shade that we did. I'm going to call this. Oh, crap. That's right. We can't do that. Let me think. Hmm. How do we do this? How do we do this? Ah, other stuff I can show you. Select. Um, I try not to go to, what's that thing called? I try not to go to Facebook because I have no idea who's actually talking to me. But that's going to be safe for work or not. And I realize that works for me, but yeah. Yeah, it's me, you goof. Um, yeah, and, and what we're going to do... You can't seem to hear me. <laughs> indeed. Is, um, so basically, that selected everything that, that, was, that, that was using that color. So... I'm going to make another color based off a of unicorn. 
Copy. Yeah, it's coming through. All right, so why can't you hear me? Unicorn 2. Double click. And let's go to value. That's good. All right, so let's go back to our select. And again, I'll click on that gray. So it's selecting everything of that color. And I'm grabbing that different color now. Yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Looks kind of nice. Um, white for the eyes. Words, come on, dude. Seriously. <sighs> Save. Not bad. Um, hmm. Let's do unicorn skin three. Give him a different eyelid color. Maybe warming that up, warm that up a bit. <laughs> Let's see if we can get away with that. Yeah, yes, I think I like it. Not bad. So anyway, yeah, this is just me playing around with some stuff. Maybe something that comes of this or not. Um, so this is mainly about drawing and playing around and this. So what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Um, let's do something weird. Close this out. Uh, let's grab a rigging tool. Hmm. This is a bone rig because we're only in essentials right now. Let's go here. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Let's get a decent articulator. Probably needs to be a little bit bigger. And let's see, this is either going to look awesome or like crap. I don't know which one. Let's see. Dude, not bad at all. So, yeah, this is my latest cheat <laughs> um, of going in and not really doing separate layers, but, um, if I'm working on a quick project or if I've got a hamburger client uh, versus a steak client and I need it done really nice and quick, it's like just drop in some eye blinks and yeah, we got something going there. So yeah, not too bad. Yeah, but can you animate that? I think I can. Um, in case you're just joining us late, um, please make sure, hopefully this is actually recording. Um, I think I'm recording this. Am I recording? I don't know. Um, but yeah, leave in the comments. What should I name this dude? Do you want to see him again? Actually, I own bigfatunicorn.com. This is probably his cousin because he's not fat. Um, let's see what I want to do. Let's animate this. Let's drop in. Hope one, let's give him more frames here. Extend the exposure. I'm going to simply press F5. Let's do F6 for a keyframe. And a few frames later. He's laying like that. Boom. Are you a unicorn, sir? Yes, indeed, I am. Okay. So yeah, there is my little illustration for the day. I'm actually kind of liking him. It's kind of cool. I got to go get a critique probably from a, a person or three who will correct me on something. Matter of fact, let's see if I can lighten that horn a bit. This is what I want to show you earlier. So, um, 
and see if things you can alter the colors even after you're done. Um, I think this is his main. So yeah. Oh yeah. Like you can totally change the look of personality just by these few colors here. Hmm. Where were we? Dude, where were we? Let's see if we can do this. Let's do Command Z. Yes, cool. I like the color for now. Um, another trick I always do, I'm always stealing colors from old comics and stuff like that because I think it looks kind of neat. There's a dot there. Should it be there? No. Oh, by the way, since I'm now inside the bone and to work on this, I need to go into the drawing layer so I can see this in its natural format. And it's still selecting everything. So let me go over here. Tool properties, turn off, select by color. Select by color pretty much is what we use to grab everything that was that color. And I'm going to come here and fill in that color because it should not be. Bam, bam. Thank you. So yeah, in drawing mode, you can see it looking normal. Camera mode, it's paying attention to what's happening with the animation and everything. So anyway, this has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. Remember, keep it simple. Make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea. I'm thinking about reaching out to some other Toon Boom people, and maybe we'll actually have a live hangout kind of virtual summit thing and kind of pass the duchy if it will. Oh, everyone does a little trick for 10 minutes or something. Junk. Anyway, it's in plans. You'll hear more about it later. Time to go. Y'all have a good one. Bye.